Good morning guys, welcome to Life with Lena and if you guys are new here, please click that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Pooba took over my seat already. I was sitting over there, you know, doing stuff on my laptop and he took over when I went to go get some pumpkin bread. So I got a slice of pumpkin bread, made myself some coffee. I was told this tastes amazing together. So we got pumpkin bread and we got coffee. I'm also going to watch more videos on Skillshare by, um, what's her name? Peggy Dean. So now I'm going to learn a botanical line drawing. I think this is a book I wanted to read because it's like flowers and leaves and just drawing those things. So I'm going to learn it. You know, guys, I think day two of this pumpkin bread tastes even better than the day that you bake it. Um, I don't know. Maybe Maybe yesterday I tried it like right after baking almost. I just let it cool down and then I tried it and I didn't love it. But now it's actually pretty tasty. And I got my coffee and my friend Nicole said to drink it with coffee. And it's actually really good with the coffee too. I don't add in any additional sugar or anything. But since when does pumpkin bread and coffee not go together, you know? Like they just go together like salt and pepper. Just kidding. I don't know what I'm referencing to. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to watching my um, videos and learning some things. I need to really stop playing uh, with my iPad and actually get to work, but I wanna show you guys what I just learned. So I learned how to make a whole bunch of different flowers to add accents to any like art design that I make or even like calligraphy, I could always add these in. So I just like, I put it all on one page so then I could like look back at it and like see how to make anything in case I forget. The next lesson is how to do leaves, but because the flowers took so long, I think it was like a 40 minute lesson. No, maybe it wasn't, okay, it was 20 minutes, but it took me forever because I kept pausing, you know, trying to catch up and see like what she was doing so then I could recreate it and like kind of have an idea of how to make it. The next lesson is also 20 minutes. Um, it's leaves, ferns, and branches um, in 13 different styles. And but I can't watch it now. I can't like practice right now because I have to go get some work done and I should go to the dollar store too and get some mugs. Um, but I want to get some work done before my employee comes in at 12 and then I have like my Apple um, appointment, like my workshop, Apple workshop at 2 o'clock so I have to drive out there but I have to leave, that means I have to leave here at 1.30 and then during that time, right before that, before I even leave, I still have to walk Cuba so I have a ton of stuff I still need to get done so I can't continue with this but I really want to, I really want to keep like practicing and drawing and I love my iPad. I'm so happy that I got it. I have discovered skills that I didn't know I even had. I legit used to always try to draw. It just never worked out. So um, with the iPad, like it's so much better for me at least because I feel like, you know, I could just erase whatever. I don't have to like sit there erasing and drawing and um, getting um, pencil marks all over my hand and everything like that. So I just, I love drawing on the iPad now. So I just wrote like a little thank you on my iPad. I'm gonna try to print like um, thank you little cards. Let me see what they come out. Like I don't have thicker paper though, but I would like to include them with people's orders. Oh, damn it. I have that too light. The hand lettered part by Carolina's Crafts. A little too light, so I have to make it a little darker. So that looks a little better, I think. I'm just gonna cut some of these up and include them with people's orders because they're just so pretty and I'm having so much fun with hand lettering. They look so pretty, guys. So I cut up like a whole bunch that we could include with orders. Oh my God, I just, I freaking love it. All right, I finished digital images that I wanted to get done before my employee came so that she could um, list the new items on Etsy and she could stock stickers while I then go to the Apple store and I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree right now, get some, um, get some mugs. And what else did I wanted to do? I wanted to do something still. Oh, I need to make a grocery shopping list as well. So because I'll be near Fairway today, I decided I should just go grocery shopping and get some stuff for green juices. And I got my super simple grocery list done. I don't have any pineapple bowls, rock sugar. Oh yes, I need to remember to get that today. And that's in the mall, that's at Tivana. Stackable shoe rack, no, we're not gonna get that, but we need lime, cucumbers, apples, and almond butter. That's a must, because I'm gonna try and make like four of my basil mojito green juices. They're so good, and that's the one with basil and mint. Here's the recipe, guys. 
10 minute leaves, one cup firmly packed basil, two apples, one cucumber, one lime. There we go. So I went crazy, guys, and I decided um, to, I'm gonna do like a, it's a July lettering challenge, um, but it's also with words that like, nobody's probably ever heard of before so it's by the pigeon letters if you guys want to look up at her instagram i'll show you guys what it looks like so you guys can see it if you guys want to join in as well so here's the instagram um the pigeon letters and here are all the words they're they're double lettered words to practice and they're also like new vocabulary words and i decided i would get up to day six so i did a couple of them or like i did six of them already yeah, so I just, I'm prepared. <laughs> Can you take my little munchkin out for a walk now? You look so cute. You're always on the pillows. You're always on the pillows. I'm glad you like my little comfy spot. I liked it too. Come on, you want to go outside for a walk? Yeah, come on. I'm so confused, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but this is the third time I changed my outfit today. It's because the weather keeps changing. So now I'm just wearing this shorter crop top with um, like a tank top. Well, it's like a racer back. But that, and I'm also going to take this jean jacket, this jean shirt, I guess. I take it for everything just to layer on top if I get cold. But the weather went from pouring rain outside this morning and pretty chilly to then, you know, still cool outside, but then no more rain. And then now it's hot outside and no rain at all. Like, the weather's just crazy today. I mean, it could be just because I was up so early at like, you know, six o'clock in the morning and the weather is still colder in the morning. But to me, it's in bipolar because I had to change it three times already today. Normally, I shove this jean jacket thing into my bag, but it looks super cute like this today. So I'm just gonna wear this. <laughs> to my Apple workshop. Gonna learn how to do spreadsheets on my iPad and things like that. Like the class said, you can learn how to budget um, on your iPad and like just organize everything. So I'm super excited. I have a feeling I'm gonna be the only one because when I asked them on Saturday, they said that I was the only one signed up. So that's okay. That's all good for me. I get more attention, you know, and then I get to learn more. guys I arrived I have 10 minutes before my appointment hopefully I could still um, get the rock sugar from Tivana and maybe some bubble tea because I have like a drink um, hopefully I still have time to get that but I have 10 minutes so I'm not sure if I'll make it let's hope anyway I think we're gonna make it it's 154 and I'm getting my bubble tea right now and I got my bubble tea brown sugar milk tea this time no ginger Looks like the snap bot is still here. Also got my rock sugar, and now we're going into Apple. I'm currently waiting for my class, guys. This is not my class, but they're just showing you what other what else they have. This one's three to four. Mine's two to three. So, so guys, I actually ended up staying for two classes at Apple. It was so much fun, though. Like I did the one class. It was a spreadsheet one, which is the one I signed up for. And then the other class, like nobody showed up for it. It was supposed to be game art. And I had a question for the guy that taught the class on Saturday, some more like artsy stuff. And he was there and he was supposed to teach that game art class, but nobody showed up. So I ended up staying for that like hour, another hour. And he taught me like everything I wanted to know because like I had questions and I wanted to learn how to do something else based on something he mentioned on a Saturday. And yeah. I feel like I've been learning so much lately and I'm so happy about that like I love learning all of these things like I just love learning in general but oh my god your battery's dying no I still have to go to the grocery store okay I don't know why I'm out of breath I just walked upstairs but okay gonna go to the grocery store gonna go to Fairway just pick up some groceries I'm probably not gonna vlog because you got your batteries dying anyway so it doesn't really make sense you guys are gonna die any second now so grocery store and then I'll just see you guys back at home once I could change the battery all right guys did my fairway shopping groceries are back there I'm not gonna go get almond butter I really don't feel like going to Trader Joe's right now and I'm have a feeling it's gonna be like super packed and I really you know it's not really like a necessity right now I really don't need almond flour at this very moment um, I did get gluten-free, um, did I say almond flour? I'm thinking flour, sorry, almond butter. Um, I did get gluten-free flour though because I wanted to make 4th of July cupcakes for this weekend because we're going to Pennsylvania, me and Andre, um, and we're gonna hang out there with like a whole bunch of people and stuff and I wanted to bake some stuff, but one of the girls um, needs to have gluten-free so I got 
gluten-free flour um, so I can make cupcakes and I got the Bob's Red Mill one that's like substitutable for like all-purpose flour because I've been having the hardest time finding a really good gluten-free cupcake recipe so this one apparently you could sub substitute all-purpose flour with the Bob's Red Mill it's called the baking flour but it's gluten-free so it was pricey as hell but um that'll be worth it because then that one girl will be able to eat the cupcakes as well because they'll be gluten free so you know it's I wanted to be you know thoughtful of her and mindful of her that she needs a uh, gluten free so it'll be nice to have in my like pantry anyway to have gluten free flour in case I come across the situation ever again so I'm glad that it could be substitutable though and I don't need to like to mix like a million different flours like I've seen other recipes because this is just it's just easier and now I could just take any recipe and just change the flour so that'll be a perfecto and great so I will see you guys back at home now it is time for me to get back home I don't even know what time it is but I have a feeling it's like getting late already I mean my classes were from like 2 to 4 so I was at Apple Forever apparently today. Um, oh, it's 4.47. Yeah, well, it's kind of getting late for me because I was like, you know, I still have my little whole, entire, whole entire day ahead of me, but no, I don't. So I will see you guys at home. On another note, I just turned my car on and my check engine light is back on. I don't know what's happening with this car. I have no idea anymore. No freaking clue. It's on, it's off. The weather today is like sunny and then rainy. It was rainy before when I left the Apple store. And now look at the weather. All clear, no clouds. Like it's only been about half an hour since then and it's crazy. The weather is look like it feels like Florida weather today. Okay guys, aside from me going to the Apple workshop today to learn how to use um, and how to do like spreadsheets I've always used Excel and I'm actually not like too fluent in Excel I guess you could say like I don't know I'm calling myself fluent in like a program, but I think that works um, So I'm not too fluent in Excel I know how to do like a couple of basic things, but I've never used numbers and that's pretty much just like Excel um, So I did the spreadsheet thing um, today. That was one of the classes I did but aside from that, because nobody showed up for the other class, Kuba, literally you just sit on my arm. I was holding the camera here. This is what he does. He just, he, he plops down on my arm. Can I have my arm back? <laughs> okay, not on my iPad either. Anyway, so what I wanted to learn to do today, I will show you guys in a second. So I also stopped by my sister's house so she could take a photo of me. But this is what I wanted to do. This was my outfit today. I wanted to make it black and white and then possibly make it into a sticker so I would like clean up the outsides or whatever. Um, change some colors and things like that and I want to make it into a sticker. Like it's like a fashionista girl holding a Starbucks cup holding a shopping bag like I think it's so cute so this is what I want to do because then I don't have to draw cartoon girls anymore isn't that the coolest thing ever or what guys I'm so happy that the guy was there that does the art classes because he's just full of so much information and he showed us this like quickly on Saturday and I forgot how to do it so I went back there and I was already there for the other class anyway and I, I was happy that he was there and I was able to like you know sit there for another hour and just like learn this program and just th whatever all right guys so here's my most recent creation it looks so freaking cute oh my gosh I love it Guys, guess what I decided to do? So I just spent a whole bunch of time trying to figure out how to make like a really high resolution quality um, calligraphy thing. So I have done so much calligraphy on my iPad over these past couple of weeks that I've had my iPad and they're not really high quality if you were to print it, which is so sad because I was hoping I could do like some wall art, you know, kind of digital downloads for you guys. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything, you guys could just download it and then print it at home or just bring it to like a print shop or whatever. And then you could like put it in a frame and stuff like that. And I just redid one right now so I could make it like the highest quality possible, highest resolution so that when you print it, it's not gonna look, um, you know, pixelized and pixelated or whatever it is called. Um, so I ended up redoing one whole one of them and then I just listed it. So if you guys are interested, it's in my printable shop, KK Printables. So far I listed this one, it's my Gold Digger Calligraphy one. So I had to redo it, I had to make it better quality and I listed it. So if any of you guys are interested in purchasing that digital wall art, there it is in my KK Printables 
shop. So it's just kkprintables.etsy.com. It looks like that. Yeah, and I also have like printable stickers if you guys didn't know. So I have tons of printable stickers here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna work on trying to recreate all of the um, digital art that I have done on my iPad so far. I mean, I did so many that I loved, and then I deleted some that I hated, and then I redid them, and then I loved them, and now I still have to redo them, redo them again to make them in a higher quality. I'm upset about that, but you know, like with anything new, like you don't know things like this so I didn't know and you know I was you know doing my artwork and I didn't know that that wouldn't like print well I didn't think about that before but I thought you know since I'm doing it and I mean I would I would love this on my wall too I might actually just like print some and put them on my wall whichever ones like I choose to put up but I don't know we'll see I just have to like redo them all first which is the sucky part. Anyway guys, I'm gonna say goodnight, so I'm just gonna keep continuing to work on, you know, recreating all of my calligraphy stuff and everything like that, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's next daily vlog. Bye!